If anybody hurts Alice, I'm gonna kill them. I will not hesitate to hurt you if you hurt Alice. All right, so... <laughs> uh, we just said goodbye to Gwen. I had to take a day to emotionally recover from that. What's up? My stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? I do. Here, can I hug you? I need a hug because Gwen's gone. Gwen's gone and I'm not over it. I also need to go to that place where I can get sheep because there's another friend over there I can take with me. But I think before I do that, yeah, I'm going to go to Hummingburg. Also, because I haven't been to Hummingburg in a minute. Oh. 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 She's not here. Ooh. I would love if Gwen could appreciate it, but Gwen's not here. Give me all the shinies in the water. Not gonna ask questions, just gonna take it. Give me that too. Yeah, I want all of it. Give me all the things. Oh, these spirits are so cute. What have we got? Yeah, I haven't looked at how much snow we're supposed to get today, though. I hope it's not crazy. <laughs> I just love, I love Theodore. <laughs> I love Theodore. I know that we're probably supposed to hate him because he's a capitalist pig, but like, look at him! Look at him! He's so cute! Upstairs, gang, where are you at? There goes, oh, there is a sheep here! Yes, yes! Follow me! Follow me! That's one of many Theodores. Hold on, no, what? You're spoiling stuff here. I didn't even know there was more than one thing. <laughs> is there just a sheep running around there? Oh, there is just a sheep. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> I love their designs. I love their designs so much. They're so funny looking. I need 12. I need 12 of those sheep. Oh God, where was the sheep? I think it was this one. I think that's it. Rainstorms, rainstorms. How does one commandeer a sheep? You feed it. As with all things, that's how you make friends. I w can you go somewhere? Can I bring you inside? Will you follow me now? No, you're just gonna chill in the rain, okay. Oh God, okay. I know, I know. Ooh. Yeah. I don't actually think I have any empty bottles with which I can catch lightning strikes. Uh, but I'll tell you what I do have. A strong desire to throw myself into danger and get free money by throwing myself at lightning. Oh, I do have some empty ones. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this layout is a lot better for catching lightning. I also love the storm music so much. Yeah! 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 I do like the animation when it misses you and hits the cat instead, though. That is very funny. Daffodil's fine. Daffodil's got a strong spirit. Oop, that's it. Good job, dude. Good job. Hi! No, rain is the best. Honestly, rain is my- rainy weather is my favorite weather. I don't care what else happens, if I have rain, I am a happy, happy little bub. I'm not even a big fan of summer. I'm really not, because I don't do hot weather well. At all. But this game makes me- want it to be summertime. It, like, reminds me of what summer felt like as a kid. Like, it felt magical as a kid in a way that it really kind of sucks as an adult. It's... I don't understand why that is. But there's something about, like, 
that really nostalgic feeling of everything seeming more blue in the sky to really genuinely feeling like the world is my oyster. I miss that feeling. Here we go again. Not the sheep! <laughs> the sheep. No! No, my sheep friend. You're just chilling? You know what, maybe the sheep should be the new spirit fairer. The sheep knows no fear. Sheep for spirit fairer 2020. <gasps> yeah, but, yeah, I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, I need to go there. Oh, I can get pork there. And apples. <gasps> I'm going there next. Okay, I'm going to drop off this sheep, get a new friend, and we're going to Furogawa. And also there is a lighthouse. Oh, I see what you mean about there being many. <laughs> There's definitely more than one Theodore. Or Theodore has the power to teleport, in which case, why are you not the spirit fair? <laughs> Jesus Christ, everyone here is more qualified than me. Oh, what did I- Stop. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're fine. My poor cat was just hanging on those ropes like, what are you doing? <laughs> Daffodil, you really should be the one who's in charge. Oh yay, my sheep came with. Thank you. Good job. You brought a second sheep. Oh, look at them. They'll be so happy together. Oh, they're acting kind of coldly. That's surprising. Well, they just have to get to know each other. I'm sure they'll be best of friends in no time. As for me, well, it was nice feeling needed. What? You want me to join you on your travels? Oh, no. No, no, no. I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. For sure, this island is a little bare, but I'm sure a little house could... I'm sure a little house could quite fit nicely here. Can't use words. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe. Pale tones and a cozy cottage facade. Oh, and green window shades. Aye, that would be so wonderful. Oh! Sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. No, you go ahead. I'll be just fine here. Alice! Mm. Back so soon. Always happy to see you, sweetheart. But don't let me hold you back from your adventures. So I have to build you a cottage. Yeah, if you already have a home, you can't say no. Right? Oh, I already have everything I need. Just gonna, you're gonna be up at the very top. You're gonna be all the way up there and I will find a way to make everything fit again later. Hopefully the house enough is not is all I need to get her to come with me. Hopefully I don't need to like furnish it too. I didn't even check to see if I should furnish it. Alice. Alice, I built you a house in record time. Huh? What? You built a house. For me? Hmm. You shouldn't have, really. But since it's there, well, I guess it'd be rude of me not to move in. Thank you so very much, sweetheart. I can't wait to see what Alice is going to be like. I like Alice. Alice, I can't wait to hug you. Oh. No, I'm not going to hold you back. You're literally coming with me. Don't use that in... Don't use that again. Does the sheep just stay? I got a sheep on my boat. Little one. What is this? Oh, a little ceremony. All right, I'll try to do my best. hurts Alice, I'm gonna kill them. I will not hesitate to hurt you if you hurt Alice. Oh my god, she's so cute. Soft as a waffle and warm as a pie. Oh. 
Thank you so much for having found me, young one. Why am I crying over here? <laughs> oh, I... Mm, oh... Don't you worry about me now. I'll find my way around. <laughs> oh I'm already... <laughs> Stop, your animations are so cute. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. When I have to send her through the freaking bridge, I'm gonna lose it. Oh my god, okay. <gasps> Look at her! God damn it, okay, I'm okay. Alright, alright. I gotta find out what she likes. What do you like? Not hungry right now. Okay, okay. I, I'm sorry, I'll rearrange soon so that you aren't all the way up here. Oh, what a cute little area. Come on in. Hi. Oh my God, all right. I swear to God, none of you better touch Alice. <laughs> oh, oh my God. You know what? I don't want to do anything else. I'm just going to go to bed because I, uh, I need a moment. I thought I was going to like her because she seemed really sweet, but something about her being a hedgehog just like really broke me. The designs of these characters is just very... Like, a lot of intelligence and love was put into the designs. Like, they knew exactly what kind of characters and what kind of personalities to give them and how to make those designs reflect them super well. Oh my god. Alright, let's go back to the raccoon. Oh! She wants to talk. Okay, okay, I'm gonna come talk. Just let me, let me water my stuff. I'll literally be right there. I like the little prismatic rainbow effects on everything, too. Oh, you came. Did you look at that, Stella? This little sheep wanted to come with us. Ah, that's what I thought. I guess it didn't like its new companion very much after all. Well, no worry. We'll take good care of you. But first, all this wool, it looks quite uncomfortable, doesn't it? And... Oh no, we're on a boat. It's like that story with the flock of sheep that fell off a boat. Oh, we can't have that. What story is that? Go ahead, Stella. Shear the wool right off its back. It's for the best. Shear a sheep. <laughs> okay, well come back here, you little rapscallion. It's I! <laughs> <laughs> it looks so unamused. Oh, I love this sheep so much. I did it. Much better. Well, aren't you feeling better? And it's much safer, too. And that key, I thought I'd lost it. But it was stuck in your thick coat all this time. What a treat. As for you, Stella, I know you'll find a good use for all this extra wool. One of my favorite materials. I chose it exclusively for all my blankets. My husband, of course, always thought they were scratchy. He was such a grump. Anyway, the sheep's wool will grow back very quickly, but only if it's well fed. And this one seems to have quite a large appetite. I suggest, I suggest you diligently feed him. Otherwise, he might get into your garden and destroy your crops. Old bastard. Oh, I imagine building a sheep corral would help keep him in place. You should probably do that as soon as possible. For the good of the sheep and that of your crops. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna... Ooh, Horogawa discovered. Beautiful. Oh, it looks so nice. All right, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, no, stay away from my plants. 
All right, off we go. New adventure. Ooh. Love like the watercolor backgrounds too. This music is so calming. Hi! Oh. Hi there. <gasps> Hello. Where's my brother? He should be here. What, who, what does your brother look like? Ooh. <gasps> owl. Is that the owl I saw earlier? timing. I am in dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the helpful type. Listen, I'm looking to complete this set of five traditional wood prints. They date from the Ushiro Empire and as such are invaluable. I have found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes uh -huh. me. I'm certain it is in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it was recently in the possession of the local shopkeeper, Theodore. But he refuses to even acknowledge its existence. Uh -huh. What an irksome little man. Raccoon. Nuki. Uh -huh. Whatever he is. But with your help, yes, with that sweet little smile of yours and generally non-threatening attitude, uh -huh. well, I'm sure you can schmooze your way into acquiring that last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of the slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper. I can't wait. Right, I like you too. Hi there! The tour will commence soon. I'll be calling out when I'm ready. Okay. I can has tour? I can has? Okay, nope. I. Where is that child? I've been looking for him all over. He's been acting all sorts of strange. I think he must have eaten a bad fruit or something. If you see him, tell his, his mother is looking for him. Don't mention that I'm extremely mad. <laughs> yep, probably for the best. What's up here? Yeah, I guess I can just. I like the houses you can just run through. Hmm. Is there anything up here, or am I just here to. Am I just up here for the vibes? I feel like I'm up here for the vibes. Woo! Here she is. Oh. I'm shopping for some ingredients. Maybe I'll cook something for you later. <laughs> Are you hungry? Oh, thank you, I was getting quite hungry. Oh, she's so cute. Oh. Well, hello there, customer. Our catalog not to your satisfaction. Are you interested in some specialized items? Oh, a wood print, you say? Yes, yes, I know it. It sat in my special stock for an eternity, and then suddenly everyone was looking for it. At first, it was this pedantic person, very rude, and worse, they were haggling on everything. I didn't even tell them of the print, gave them some junk instead. And then later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded that I sell it to her. The thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war, but she offered me some serious coin for it. That lady, let me tell you, she was loaded. Anyway, that's all I know about it. I can't help you with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. No. Mm. I'll probably buy some more of these. I will. Orchard! Just buy one for now. Ooh, they're expensive. Holy shit. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Ooh, there's another one. <gasps> Glide. I 
I can glide now. That's exciting. Cute! Sweet! <gasps> Stop it! want to go back home. Being here is sublime. If you want to stay at my place, you're more than welcome. Here's my key. If the door stays jammed, you just give it a good tug. It always gets stuck. I want to enjoy this view forever. Okay. Look at that mountain. It's so real. It's like a drive. <laughs> Need to get up there. Just gotta aim right. I didn't even notice that up there. <gasps> small child. Wait, no, that's just. I thought that was like a small child sitting on top of somebody, but I think they're just. Right? No. Who are you? The word moist should be outlawed. Big mood. Live a simple life. Big mood. Hi. Oh, you're back. Did you manage to get the missing print? No, it was already sold. But how? Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you say? The word walrus is dancing very menacingly. Uh -huh. Of course. Of course it was her. Oh, that horrid woman. A dim-witted, egotistical, patronizing charlatan. She calls herself the collector, if you can believe it. She doesn't even collect anything. I'm sure she bought the print only to spite me. I should have never told her about my collection. <gasps> Whoa! Um, hi. We, we do not use our words like that. Um, you need to, that is not how we communicate with one another. And uh, we need to reconsider what we're going to do and how we're going to use our words going forward. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not one to wave away competition. The ugly witch is in hiding. Oh my gosh, she's a walrus, Chibra, in hiding from you. I don't specifically know why, but the news of a new spirit fairer made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. Is she gonna join me? How fitting. Yes, yes, you're the spirit uh -huh. fairer. Tell me something I don't know. You should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at these coordinates. Uh -huh. Pay her a visit, would you? And when you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. Uh -huh. This? Oh, don't worry. It's just some junk Theodore gave me. Uh -huh. Wow, all right. There we go. Wait, actually I've got a couple of these. I should just open those. Key for the house here. <laughs> uh, it's Gwen's spirit flower. <laughs> uh, wait, is this the fish? Stella, you might have noticed there's a large empty nook in my house. You know what? We should add a wardrobe. Yes, the fancy dresser. For your clothes! You don't seem to have anywhere to store your own outfits. This would be a perfect opportunity. What do you think? Cute. Aww. Hugs! Oh, I like hugging her. Aww. What? Can you hear my stomach? It's restless. I do! I absolutely have some food I know you love. <laughs> I love her. Hug me. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Hey, bud. I got you something. A little 
bare bones. As an amateur handyman, this doesn't work at all. Maybe we should improve it. Add a few bells and whistles. I don't know what exactly. Let me have a look. Follow me. Look at that! You've already started with the improvements. Carry on. I did. Count on me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Um. What? Pork chops! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I am so excited. They look so damn tasty. And they are. Sprout, you're a miracle, you know that? Oh, this is just so good. Ha! Huh. Now I feel just a bit guilty. I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. Look, there was this kid at work. Craig. We used to have these long and tight union negotiations. All nighters. Everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed. I would send Craig on these endless 24-hour grocery store crawls for me. I would ask for these impossible gets. Saffron. I don't know how to say that. Oh no. I'm not fancy. I'm not fancy. Sumek. Even a niece. It was something like 2 o'clock in the morning. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone. On both sides of the table. Calm heads into a peas stomachs. The first part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I didn't know how he did it, but Craig would always find everything on my list. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get to this stuff. Jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how you did it, Sprout. You made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. <laughs> My house needs a desk and some tools. Yeah, that's it. I know we don't have a lot of space on this boat. This is kind of becoming a dream scenario of mine. My bed next to my tools. It'd be like I'm living a fantasy. I could work on my own projects. Maybe build something for my daughter, Ashley. Yeah, what's the use, right? Not like I'm ever going to see her again. I should stop daydreaming about it. I'm just trapped here. Oh. You know what's not funny? I can't even remember her face. Just get back up and rib it like that? Oh. So let's just get that desk and I'll figure out what to make later. Oh, for God's sake, come here! Come here! Let me fucking hug you! Stop it! Oh. He needed that. So, when people are getting a bit hungry, have you thought about the next meal? Yes! What you all like. I feel like you're probably a vegetarian, but I don't. I don't know for sure. Thank you. I was getting quite hungry. You're welcome. Oh, she likes listening to the flute. Oh. You're so cute. I have something for you. Estella, I've baked something for the crew. I'll let you distribute it. I love her. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. I don't want him to leave either. How do you say his- I also, like, how do you say his name? Atul? Adel? Well, I'll feed you, now give me that. <laughs> oh my god. Can I do anything at the loom with this? Oops, sorry bud. Is this a loom thing? Ooh. Going a little far. Oh, wool thread. Okay. Um, what do I need to improve everybody's houses? Okay, well, that one I can do. 
don't have any aluminum. Wool fabric I can get, but glass I definitely still don't have. Hi! You're spoiling me, Stella. No, look, you just, look at all those hats. Look at those hats. You have calla lilies in your hat. If, is that what those are? An incredible piece of furniture. It livens the room so much. Yes, much cozier now. And filled to the room with clothes and accessories too. You don't know how happy that makes me. Well, what are you waiting for? Jump out of these old dirty clothes. Pick something with jazz to it. Hold up. God. Admiral shoes. This is so fun. I do kind of like the, I kind of like the vibe of it though. Like what else would I? Yeah, none of these feel quite less. <laughs> kind of like the classic outfit. Maybe I'll change the shoes. Okay. Oh, oops. Oops, oops, oops. Interesting choice. That well, certainly is a modern choice. Very youthful. What about something more um, classic? I think there was a nice periwinkle outfit in the bottom drawer. Try it on. <gasps> yeah, yee! Oh, sweetie, isn't that so much better? Why oh, you look so adorable, I could just eat you up. Oh, so very, very cute. Oh, Smurfykins, thank you for the follow. It's been so nice having you along this journey with me. There's plenty more for you to try on. Don't be shy. Come over anytime. I've always loved doing these little fashion shows with my granddaughter. I feel like you were a really great grandma. Oh, what is it? You found an envelope in the bottom of the drawer? How peculiar. Well, don't make me wait. Open it. What is it you say? Pictures and letters. Oh, those are mine. How did they ever end up here? What a mystery. Look, this is my husband's handwriting. Oh, it's messy, all right. He never was a delicate man. But quite handy. And so very loving. Oh, and would you look at that? My backyard. See all these trees? Sweet Eugene planted a tree for every one of our children. I don't know Eugene, but I like him. And then for our grandchildren. We grew apples, cherries, pears. Are you gonna teach me how to build an orchard? I remember my granddaughter playing in her mother's apple tree. Such sweet memories. Oh, look at me rambling again. Go ahead, sweetheart. I won't hold you back any longer. No, tell me about your life. I like when people tell me stories. I know I've been asking for a lot lately. I got a big appetite. It goes well with my love of food. You know what I would go for? A bucket of fried chicken. <laughs> that would bring me back. Because the best kind of food comes in buckets. Absolutely. Cooking sounds hard sometimes. In this case, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Good morning. Now I'll let you do your thing. I won't bother you. Good morning! Are you hungry? I haven't figured out what you like yet. Ooh. Okay, so no coffee for you. Oh, you know what? That's like typical grandmas, though. It's just like, nothing with caffeine. I need decaf. Dessert. Healthy. Plain. Oh. Oh, old-fashioned dishes. I'm not surprised. I had a feeling. Thank you very much. Aw. Oh, God, I'm gonna die when Alice leaves. I'm gonna absolutely die. Absolutely die. Let me in. I don't know why anybody wants to stay on my ship with me. I'm so annoying. Alright, let's go. Come on, kitty. 
You must go with me on all of my important business ventures. Wait one second! I don't have a joke for the loom yet. I might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it looming over me. Keep spinning that one. <laughs> I love you. Shoot. Shoot. I am so close. God. I'm so close. Okay, I definitely need this, though. Spirit flower. <laughs> I remember wondering what the spirit flower was, and now I wish I didn't know. <laughs> uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh! Definitely need some more iron. Give me the stuff. You can do incredible things with the sawmill these days. You can even go on the internet. You can log in. Get it? Oh, dude. Just trust your joke. You don't have to ask me if I got it. Oak planks! Fuck! <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. Oh, heck. Oh! <laughs> God damn it! Woo! That was a fun one, though. We are gonna have everything ready to go. And then first thing in the morning, we're setting sail, and I don't know where to. But we're setting sail. Don't have enough wool fabric, but that's okay. Can't really get anything anyway. Oh, all right. I think that I am probably going to go ahead and end this here for now. Thanks for hanging out. If you were here for whatever length of time, it's always nice having people around. I'm glad that it's been kind of going easy on me since saying goodbye to Gwen hurt a lot. And now with these new friends that I really like, I, I'm just not ready. I can't say goodbye to somebody else for quite a while, so they better pace themselves with people leaving. I swear. Uh, yeah, but I hope you have a good rest of your night, and I'll see you next time.